Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is called the Molecule Bracelet. So yeah, pretty interesting name, I guess. But anyway, this bracelet is very simple, and you can make it with just a hook, which that's what this tutorial is for. And yeah, so to make this bracelet, you will need your hook. Any hook will work. You will also need a clip. I'm going to be using a C clip, but any clip that is for rubber band bracelets will work as well. You will also need beads. So to make this bracelet, the molecule bracelet, you will need beads. But if you do not have beads, you could also use rubber bands, and I'll be showing you how you can do that. I'm going to be using these beads here. I'm not sure what they're called. There will be a caption. But you will also need rubber bands, of course. And in to make this bracelet, I can't tell you how many rubber bands you will need because everyone has a different size wrist. And also, the type of beads you are using will also determine how many rubber bands you'll need. Because some beads are a little bit bigger than others. As you can see here, we have this little perler bead, which is really small. And then I have these larger beads that I'll be using. And if you're going to be using these smaller little pony beads, or perler beads, you might want to use just single rubber bands. So as you can see here, this bracelet uses double rubber bands. If you have a smaller bead, you will only need to use one for each of the little links here. But if you have larger beads, kind of like these here, then you will need to use double rubber bands. Same for the, if you don't have beads and you're using rubber bands. Also for the rubber bands, it does not matter how many colors or how, how many different colors you use. There's only one group of rubber bands and they're all doing the same thing except for the cat band. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. So just go ahead and get the supplies that you will think you will need. Use the pause button so that you can do so and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so, to get started, you're going to need your hook, your rubber bands, and your beads as well. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to start making the bracelet by starting here with the cap band. So, first you're going to get your hook and one rubber band, and we're going to make this rubber band the cap band. And to do that, you're going to put this rubber band on your hook, like so. Let's get these back. Then you're going to twist the rubber band while it's on your hook, like this. And this new shape that you create that's here on your fingers now, you're going to go ahead and put it onto your hook, like this. And now you should have some kind of shape thing on your hook, like this here. Alright, so now is when you're going to either get double rubber bands or just one rubber band and that depends on what beads you're putting on your bracelet only if you have a really tiny bead like this perler bead here is when you're going to only use single rubber bands so everything else you probably want to use double rubber bands so anyway I'm going to be using double rubber bands and what you do is you take one or two rubber bands however many you need you're going to put them on your hook like so, so on the actual part of your hook, and slide this cap band, oops, slide this cap band that's already on your hook onto these new rubber bands. So off of your hook and onto the rubber bands. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the other end of these rubber bands that you are adding onto your hook, and now we're going to do something with these new rubber bands that are on our hook now. So what we're going to do with these rubber bands is we're going to grab this side of the double or single rubber bands that's farthest away from the actual part of our hook, so this side over here, or this side if you're using your left hand. You're going to grab that side there, farthest away from the actual part of your hook, and you're going to carefully pull it off of your hook. So it should cross over the other end of the rubber bands, but you're not going to completely pull on it because you do not want it to go over the cap band. 
So you're just going to pull it off of your hook just like that. Just enough to pull it off. And then what you're going to want to do is grab your cap band and pull on the cap band. And that should tighten these rubber bands or this little thing, or yes, this little part here that we just took off of our hook. And what we just did here was we created a slip knot. And that is how we keep all the beads in their individual sections. Goodness, my nose is a little runny today, so I apologize. But anyway, once you've made the slip knot, or the slip knots if you have double rubber bands, you're going to go ahead and get your first bead. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need to do for each of the different types of beads. So first I'm going to show you what to do if you have a perler bead. So what you're going to want to do with whatever you have is you're going to want to get it onto these slip knots here, or the slip knot. So for a perler bead, because it's probably not big enough to fit on your hook, you're going to want to take the slip knot, pinch it really close together on one end, then push the end that's kind of squished together or the part that's not squished together, so this little loop here, through the bead. So this takes a little while. There we go. And that is what you do if you have a really tiny perler bead thing. Alright. If you have a rubber band, what you will do is you'll make it into a cap band, or not a cap band, but a triple cap band and to do that you take the rubber band you go ahead and make it into a cap band okay so like we did before so you make a cap band then you take one of the little loops here I'm gonna take this circle here on top and you're gonna twist it again and put the new shape onto your hook as well and now you should have three of these little sections here or something and that is your triple cap band. So now, you're going to keep this triple cap band on your hook. You're not going to take it off. You're going to get the slip knots that are on the end of your bracelet so far. Put them on the actual hook part of your hook. And just slide this triple cap band onto these slip knots. And there you go. Now, the problem with rubber bands is that they're not as... They don't really stay together. They're kind of... Sometimes they'll s separate. So you can make a quadruple cap band which is pretty much the same thing as a triple cap band except it's a little bit s or it's smaller and you have to twist the rubber band one more time so you get another so you grab one of these little loops here and you twist it again so this would be the fourth time you twisted it maybe th actually a third but now you should have four of these little things here now and then you would get the slip knots and put this quadruple cap band on So that's only if you do not like the triple cap band. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get it on there so you can see what it looks like. If it will get off of my hook. Goodness. There we go. So there we go. And the quadruple cap band doesn't move around as much. Especially if you have double rubber bands. So there we go. That would be a bead if you don't have beads. But anyway, what you're going to do if you just have a, an ordinary, kind of a bigger bead like I do, and you need to, you needed to use double rubber bands, what you do is you put the bead on your hook, so it should fit on your hook. That's how big this bead is. You're going to go ahead and put the slip knots on the actual part of your hook, like you did to add them before and just slide this bead onto the slipknot rubber bands. Now, if your beads are not as tiny as the perler bead, but not as large as the ones I'm using, all you have to do is just get the rubber bands, kind of pinch them together, and just slide them through the bead. So that's all you have to do if your beads aren't large enough to fit on your hook. Alright, so that's enough of showing you the 50 different ways or different things you have to do if depending on what beads you're using. Let's go ahead and continue. So once you have your bead onto your rubber bands, you go ahead and put the rubber bands, so the slip knots here, back onto your hook. You're going to get 
either double or just one rubber band again. And you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take your rubber bands that you'll be adding to your bracelet, put them on the actual hook part of your hook, and slide these rubber bands that are already on your hook onto these new rubber bands. Now what you're going to want to do is put the other end of the rubber bands you're holding with your fingers onto your hook, and now you should have something like this. And what you're going to do now is make them into slip knots. Or, yes, these rubber bands here on into a slip knot. So, you're going to go ahead. You're going to grab the end of the rubber bands that is furthest away from your hook. And if you're using double rubber bands, make sure you only grab two of these little, sec little thingies here. So you take the rubber bands, you just pull them off of your hook enough to just pull them off. You're going to grab the cap band down here, or just the rubber ba the previous rubber band, just give them a tug. And that should create a slip knot, or two slip knots if you're using double bands. And what you're going to do now is add your next bead. So, I'm going to go ahead, grab another bead, slide it on. I will not be going over how to add the beads again, so yeah, you just gotta get whatever you have onto the slipknot bands. So there you go. Once your bead is on, you're gonna go ahead, get the same slipknot rubber bands you just created, put them onto your hook, and now we're gonna do the same thing again. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pattern for making this bracelet, or how you make this bracelet one more time. And then I'm going to leave you to make the rest of the bracelet on your own. So, what you do to make this bracelet is you get either one or two rubber bands, depending on what kind of beads or what you're adding to your bracelet, or making your bracelet with, or yes, adding to your bracelet. So I'm using double rubber bands. You're going to go ahead, put them on the actual hook part of your hook, and slide any rubber bands that you have on your hook now on to these new rubber bands. Then you're going to go ahead, put the other end of the rubber bands, or rubber band, you're holding with your fingers onto your hook. And now you're going to go ahead and grab the ends of the rubber bands that is farthest away from the actual hook part of your hook. Blech. So these ends here. You're going to carefully pull them off, just enough off so that they're not on your hook anymore. Then you're going to go ahead, give the rest of the bracelet a tug tightening this now slip knot here and once you've created the slip knot or slip knot you're going to go ahead get a bead and use blue actually no I'm going to use pink so you're going to get your next bead put it on your hook or add it however you need to add it so go ahead get your bead add it on to your bracelet And then you take the rubber bands, the slip knots here that you just created and put it a and put a bead on. And you're just gonna put them back on your hook and continue. So that is the pattern for making the molecule bracelet. And you're just gonna go ahead and continue this pattern of adding rubber bands, making them slip knots, and adding your bead over and over until you have made your bracelet long enough to fit around your wrist. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually cut the video here. I'm not going to be fast forwarding because it will take me a little while to get the beads on to, or get all my bracelet finished. So, yeah. So go ahead and continue making your bracelet and I will see you once it's time to make your bracelet a bracelet. Alright, so as you can see here, I have now made my molecule bracelet, and now it is long enough to fit on my wrist, and hopefully yours is as well, so let's go ahead and get started on finishing this thing off. So to do this, you're going to need your bracelet and your clip, so the clip that will make your bracelet a bracelet, if you've been using other clips. What you're going to do, is you're going to get your clip and you're going to go ahead and attach it to this end of your bracelet where there is a slip knot so the last slip knot in your bracelet here and you can use your hook if you would like to 
which I think that would be helpful. So you go ahead and put the slip knot rubber bands on your hook. But you just need to get your clip onto these last slip knot rubber bands. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hook. Because that's easier. There you go. And once your clip is attached to the last slip knot on your bracelet, you're going to go ahead, find the cap band on the other end of your bracelet, which mine is right here. And it doesn't even look like a circle anymore. It just looks like these two little bunny ears. Anyway, you're going to take your cap band and the clip on the other end of your bracelet. You're going to attach the clip to these, look, or no, the cap band. So the clip to the cap band. And this is a little bit tricky because the cap band's really small. There we go. I did it. So once you have your clip attached to your cap band and the last slip knot in your bracelet, you can go ahead and put your bracelet on. And bam. So as you can see here, I am now wearing my molecule bracelet. And hopefully you are as well. So I guess now it is time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make the molecule bracelet successfully. And hopefully you now have your molecule bracelet and you're wearing it. And you're enjoying your bracelet. And yeah. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial really. Because it's just that's all there is to say. So of the so the only th things I have to say now are thanks for watching and bye